always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. We had a snowy start to our weekend out there, stacking up several inches of snow on Friday, but a lot of that is now gone. We've caught on to some warmer weather, and that looks to continue into the start of the work week, but the wind is going to become stronger. Gusts near 30 miles per hour on Monday at about 35 on Tuesday. Now that is going to be ushering in some warmer air. Highs look to peak near 60 degrees. It's also going to get wetter, though, as rain is likely as we get into tomorrow evening, carrying over into Tuesday. Highs look to stick in the 40s and 50s through the extended period. There Here's a look at Storm Track Live. Some of the winter weather alerts. You can see that much of central Nebraska into Kansas and South Dakota, that is where there is a blizzard warning. Six to ten inches of snow. Wind gusts over 40 miles per hour look to make a mess of things out that way. And it looks like that system is going to be carried just to our north which should help us to evade any sort of snowy outcome with that system, but expecting to see some wet weather work in over the next few days here. Going uh, to Storm Track Live here, satellite radar picture, it shows that snow is encompassing much of Wisconsin and Minnesota, and we have been able to pick up on a few echoes in northern spots here across West Michigan. Near Muskegon, we've seen a few flurries from time to time. It looks like that'll continue through tonight as we check future cast. Tomorrow, cloudy skies will be with us, maybe a few sprinkles during the course of the day, but will be windy and a little bit warmer than today as temperatures look to be carried into the middle and upper 50s. Pausing the clock at 5 p.m. tomorrow, you can see the arrival of some heavier bands of rain, and it looks like that'll continue over into Tuesday. Wet weather looks to uh, start to diminish as we get into Wednesday here, as it looks like we will have some drier weather take over, but still cloudy skies, at least for the start of Wednesday. Precipitation totals look to vary between a quarter and a half an inch with the onset of this next system, and there could be even a couple of severe thunders storms as you head further south toward the city of Sturgis. You can see that we do have a marginal risk of severe weather across southern Michigan. So something that we also can't discount for that next round of rain and storms. Looking over Grand Rapids, we have overcast skies. Same story in Muskegon. And if you look closely, you can maybe see a couple of flurries coming down right now. Temperatures, you can find that those are in the upper 30s, low 40s, 42 for Allegan. Wind speeds are from the east southeast, currently between about 10 and 15 miles per hour. Tonight, we'll see the temperature fall down to 30 degrees with a handful of sprinkles and flurries, breezy and cool. And tomorrow, it looks like we'll be able to climb up to a high of 59 in the afternoon, windy, warmer weather, and that rain chance looks to develop late. Checking the eight-day forecast, we'll have a chance of seeing some more rain and even some thunderstorms into Tuesday, staying windy, gusts at about 35 miles per hour, We're working in that warmer air. 39, the high temperature on Wednesday, cloudy skies. Some sunshine cracks back in on Thursday and Friday. Looks to be pretty enjoyable as we approach Easter weekend. Good Friday up to a high of 52. 51 on Saturday with a chance of seeing some more rain. And it looks like we should dry out in time for those Easter egg hunts on Sunday. A high temperature of 52, staying mostly cloudy into the start of next week. So after that taste of wintry weather this weekend, it looks like we'll snap back into some more spring-like conditions pretty quickly. Brittany? Well, we love to see it. I think it comes just in time kind of for spring break, too. Some good weather for kids to enjoy it. That's too. That's coming up as well. Yeah. Thanks, Scott.